Descent of the Demon God by Hanjo Weolia Chapter 33 Legend Part 1 Damn, damn it. Nung Du Myung couldn't hide his shock. He didn't expect much, but he was hoping that Lee Myung, the third team's leader, would at least hit back Jong So. But before such a miracle happened, Chun Yeowon appeared. Quack. Lee Myung was caught by his neck from behind. Besides, he, he really saved her. He couldn't believe what he was seeing with his own eyes. The woman he was holding was Jiam Oyun. He knew her because he personally arrested Baek Jong So and her at their home and then transported her outside the wall. Damn it, just how? The gate warning alarm was sounded. When a gate opens, disaster strikes. The outside must have been a battlefield, and saving that woman was nothing short of a miracle. Mother! Tears flowed out of Baek Jong So's eyes. When he saw his mother, who was unharmed, his legs trembled. He really saved her, ah. He looked at Chen Yuan with eyes, which began to trust him even more. After leaving the cult, the two played no role, yet they were being looked after. However, someone was suffering in that situation. Kwok. Yo Yu. Li Myung, who was caught by his neck, couldn't move. This was the second time. I got caught again? It was embarrassing and humiliating for him. It had been so long since he felt humiliated, the first was when he wasn't able to perform martial arts like the others in his family. My hands feel numb too. His eyes fell on the machine gun, which was dropped on the floor. With his neck grabbed from behind, his body went stiff, unable to move. Chen Yuan spoke to him. I showed you a favor, but here you are prepared to do something that offends me again? Favor? At Chen Yuan's words, Li Myung's eyes fluttered. If he hadn't listened to the doctor in the emergency room, he wouldn't have thought much of what Chen Yuan said. You said that you're the leader of a public security bureau team, indeed, this is the work of a professional. Sorry? Hmm. I'll have to take a closer look to find out more, but at first glance, this bullet pierced, very cleanly. Both in the shoulder and the thigh, the bullet went through. Flesh and not bone. But he thought that it was a coincidence. But after listening to Chen Yuan, he knew that it was on purpose. Quack. He wanted to say something, but the back of his neck was grabbed, and he couldn't speak. At that moment, Chen Yuan released his hand. He thought that his struggling legs would naturally touch the floor, but float. W what is this? His body was floating in the air. Confused, but he knew what it was. This is. As a child of a Muram family, he knew the basics. He knew what it was, but he never thought that someone could actually do it. He wondered if he could move his body, but he couldn't. Uh. With that, Chen Yuan let Jim Ouyan go to the ground. Jim Ouyan looked at Baek Jong So who was standing in the middle of the factory with trembling eyes. As if waiting, Baek Jong So ran towards her. Swoosh. My son. Sob. Mother. The two hugged each other with tears running down their faces. The son was in tears because of his guilt and longing for his mother, and the mother was just happy to see her son alive. The two lived each day in despair. Baek Jong So even had a nano bomb planted in his body for the sake of his mother, who was taken hostage. Jim Oyun, who held her son, was thinking about the time when she was outside the wall. It was a miracle for them. What's wrong with them? Lee Myung, who didn't know what had happened, was confused. He knew that they were mother and son, but he couldn't figure out why they were hugging and crying. It looks like you don't know. Lee Myung looked at Chen Yuan at his question. What do you mean? If you're a detective at the Public Security Bureau, shouldn't you know what your people have done? At that question, Lee Myung frowned. Even if he was in the same bureau, Information is usually not allowed to spread around, especially not to different departments. 
Moreover, information control was even tighter when it came to the mobile strike team, who were all dead in the abandoned factory. If the six road toys have figured it out, he's of no use. Click. Do you want to throw him away? Isn't that why we took him in? Click. All right. I'll send you a location, so have team leader go guide and gather all of the fourth and fifth strike teams and special agents. Lee Myong had heard that information as he wiretapped the director's office. He found out a dark side of Sang Yu Gun, who he trusted and followed. He still couldn't forget the last words he heard. His identity record will be completely destroyed, report to me once you kill him. Lee Myong wanted to see it with his own eyes. Was this all happening according to what he heard? He was confused. Then those corpses? Seeing the dead mobile strikers made him wonder if the director was taking too huge of a risk. He really couldn't understand what was going on. Hmm? Chen Yuan's eyes lit up. Seeing Li Myung, it was as if the man knew nothing. This is fun. Then, he wondered how he would react if he told him the truth. Chen Yuan reached out to the side of the abandoned factory. Whoa. Then, Nung Du Myung, who was unable to move due to his blood points being sealed, was dragged. Nung Du Myung, who was dragged in front of Chen Yuan, didn't know what to do. And Chen Yuan said, This one doesn't seem to know anything, tell him what you guys did. T that. Nung Du Myung was speechless. What they were doing was confidential. There are a lot of things the Bureau did which the general public or ordinary detectives weren't informed of. Damn it, why is this guy making me do this? Since he brought a machine gun, he thought Chen Yuan would kill him. But he never thought that such an embarrassing situation would be created. It was then. Tack. Bang. A nano bomb on the left side of his chest exploded. Quack. The man screamed. The pain when nano bombs exploded in his palm and Saul's was indescribable. And the pain in his chest wasn't any less. My my chest. His left nipple was blown away. It was a nano bomb, but the explosion burned his clothes, and Lee Myung frowned seeing that. Nipple. He couldn't speak. A finger snapped, and the chest seemed hurt. To the man who was in pain, Chen Yuan said. Tell him. Shit. Looks like the words aren't coming out. Chen Yuan raised his hand and then folded one finger after another. E.I.K. Nung Dumian's face turned pale, not knowing what to do. It would be better to die than to give out something so important, but the word sacrifice wasn't an easy thing to do. While he was hesitating, Chen Yuan's fifth finger folded. Snap. Bang. Quiak. The right nipple of Nung Dumian was blown away. Li Myung, who couldn't bear seeing the man in pain, tried to stop it. Stop it. How can you do such a tea? Tatak. However, his blood points were sealed and he was forced to shut his mouth. Chen Yuan stretched out his fingers again and looked at Dumyang's lower body and said. This time it's on the bottom half. The eyes of the man trembled. The place where Chen Yuan's gaze fell was a place where the pain would be unbearable. Oh no! Just the thought was terrifying. Since Li Myung was also a man, he closed his eyes so he wouldn't be able to see what would happen. SSS. One finger folded. At that moment, Nung Du Myung shouted with a madman's voice. I will tell you. I will tell you everything. A declaration of surrender. Chen Yuan lowered his hand. Nung Du Myung, who almost lost that place, revealed the truth. What they do, the third special division of the Public Security Bureau, and the director's orders. H. How, could you do such shameful things? Hearing about them, Li Myung was unable to hold his expression. His disappointment in the bureau couldn't be expressed in words. 
Since he was a detective, sometimes he too placed traps to conduct investigations and attract criminals, he even didn't hesitate to work undercover. However, he never took a civilian hostage to achieve the desired results. On top of that, the public security decided to remove the person because the mission failed. And all of this was under the director's orders. He couldn't believe it. He never dreamed that director Sang Yu Gun, who values integrity and uprightness, would do such a thing. When a person's sense of justice and value collapses, the disappointment of those around them reaches its peak. Li Myung's eyes were red. Nung Du Myung, who revealed the truth, looked at Li Myung, who looked disappointed and bit his lip. Don't look at me like that. Is it wrong to make sacrifices to prevent crime? How, how do you maintain justice without that? Li Myung shook his head. Those words sounded like a cowardly excuse. Nung Du Myung bit his lip harder, this time drawing blood. You do realize that in order to light up the darkness, we need to head into the darkness, right? The director and I entered the darkness. Even when it was said, Nung Du Myung's words didn't seem satisfactory. Would Li Myung have been fine with it if he knew it from the beginning? Kook, you think it's ridiculous to say something like that. Don't pretend to be naive like you're any different from us. Your family, too, has built a business under the guise of being a political faction, and spilled more blood than this. Flinch. At those words, Li Myung's eyes became heavy. I don't know if I will survive here, but look at the records when you get out. Your family's company has done a lot of dirty things, more than you could imagine. Team leader Moyong Li Myung. Moyong Li Myung? Chen Yuan mumbled. When he first looked at the Dan Tian of Li Myung, he thought that the man belonged to a Miram family, but he didn't think that he was actually from the Moyong clan. Are you the third team leader of the violent crime squad? Li Myung? How? When his identity was said by Chen Yuan, Li Myung's eyes went wide. Huh, this is nice. Chen Yuan stroked his chin. The name was written on the Blade 6 instruction paper. There was an order to secure the one called Moyong Li Myung of the third team, so he was curious about who the person was. Is it related to this? Chen Yuan's gaze moved to Li Myung's Dan Tian. He was about to say something to him, but then someone came over and fell in front of him. She was GM Ouyan. Nung Du Myung and Li Myung were puzzled by the sight of her in tears. Next to GM Ouyan, Baek jong was restless. It seemed like the mother and son had ended their reunion. Hmm. We'll have to talk later. Tak tak tak. Chen Yuan reached out and touched the blood points of Nung Du Myung and Li Myung. The two men were stunned. Get up. Despite Chen Yuan's words GM Ouyan spoke while still bowing on the ground. My lord, Chen Ma. Even if I die a hundred times or a thousand times, there's no way that I can repay your favor. She sincerely thanked him. Aside from being a member of the Sky Demon Order, she had done nothing for the cult. GM Ouyan made an oath. My Lord Chen Ma. Even though I'm nothing but a powerless woman who has lost all her weapons, I'm not a shameless person who doesn't know grace. Please accept me so that I can contribute to your cause in any way I can. Mother. Seeing his mother like that, Baek jong -so's heart ached. She was originally a devout member of the cult. However, because of her belief that it couldn't protect her son, she gave up everything and lived the life of a fugitive. Give me one more chance to be a member of the cult. Actually, Baek jong -so was unaware of it, but GM Ouyan had destroyed her own Dan Tian when the people who wanted to build the Sky Demon Order had approached her. Baek jong -so managed to live a nice life, despite not having a father because of his mother's love, a mother who didn't want to put her son at risk. Even the ones who wanted to rebuild the cult had no choice but to let her go as she had shown her determination to abandon martial arts. And it changed like this. Although it was a misunderstanding, 
Jiam Ouyan thought that Chen Youwan was the son of the chairman in prison. The person she met then lacked the ability to rebuild the Sky Demon Order. She believed that rebuilding would cause strife, and tried to bury the spirit of the Sky Demon Order inside her heart and preserve the normal life of her son. But now things have changed. I saw it. The absolute majestic power of Chen Ma. Having confirmed the power of Chen Youwan, she developed a strong conviction. She finally thought that the rebuilding of the Sky Demon Order would happen. What are you doing? Zhang Soya. Pledge your allegiance to. Huh? Beck Zhang So was puzzled at his mother's words. From the beginning he accepted that he was a member of the Sky Demon Order, but he couldn't understand why she was asking him to swear an oath of allegiance again. Hurry! With that strong voice, Beck Zhang So fell down. As they laid, she said in a loud voice. The pure Kit clan swears allegiance to the chairman's eldest son, Chen Yusong. We support Chen Yusong, who's the god sent from heaven and who obtained the Sky Demon Sword, as the next lord. Chen Yuan's eyes narrowed at that. It sounded like a simple pledge of allegiance, but she said she would support him as the next lord. You're going to support me as the next lord? Jim Ouyan raised her head at Chen Yuan's question. I know that it's upsetting, but I heard that there was a dispute between your uncle, Chen Wukyang, and second son, Chen Yujang, over who would become the lord. Thud. With those words, Jiam Ouyan put her head on the floor. Although there are two sons who share the same blood, we support Chen Yusong as the Lord. Ha! Huh. At Jiam Ouyan's words, Chen Yuan put on an expression that seemed like he didn't understand it. Jiam Ouyan, who noticed that, asked in a perplexed voice. And not just us, but the other sects will also support Chen Yusong if they find out that you are Chen Ma. With that, Chen Yuan could understand where the discussion was headed. The Black Sky Company, no, the Sky Demon Order was dismantled, as if that wasn't enough, the reason to not rebuild the cult was that there was a dispute over who would become the next lord. Why, why is he like that? She swore allegiance to him and told him that she would support him, but GMO. Yun couldn't raise her head as Chen Yuan said nothing. Beck Zhang So, who had never heard about the cult situation, was also confused. Cha 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 cha. Chen Yuan's black wrist guard turned into the Sky Demon Sword. Chen Yuan, holding the sword, lowered the tip of it to the floor. Thud. A crack occurred on the center of the floor where the Sky Demon Sword was placed. In a voice filled with anger, Chen Yuan said something that the two people couldn't understand. The cult has been messed up very badly. WH what do you mean by that? Chen Yuan pulled something out of his pocket and threw it on the floor. It was an elaborately crafted jade plate. In the middle of the jade plate, with the seal of the first Chen Ma, the word Sky Demon Order was written. 24th Lord of the Sky Demon Order, Chen Yuan. Chapter 34 Legend Part 2 10,000 mountains lie between Guangxi and Guangdong. At the peak of one of the 10,000 mountains, there is a shrine for the Sky Demon Order. Annual events are held there every year at the beginning of New Year's Day. In the shrine, there are glass boxes containing the past lords, jade plates, and items. But only a few had the opportunity to see the inside. Among the clans in the Sky Demon Order, only the Twelve High Clans, the Guardian Family, and the Lord's direct descendants were allowed inside. Pure Kick Clan Originally, it was a decent clan, but since Becky became one of the Six Swords, it later became a High Clan. Twenty-eight years ago, all the high-ranking members of the Sky Demon Order, including the members of the Pure Kick Clan, gathered at the shrine for the last time when the Lord, Chen Wu Jin, was summoned for prosecution. Mom, Mom. Xu Zhang So. Be quiet. Guem Ouyan hushed the young Bek Zhang So. A meeting was progressing inside the shrine. The atmosphere didn't seem good, and the families of each clan, who were waiting outside the meeting hall, kept silent. This, look here. 
Despite her hushing, Baek jong so pulled her hand. The place where he took her to was the exhibition hall, where the items of the past lords were stored. Baek jong so pointed to a display and said, Mom. Mom. That. Baek jong so pointed to where the identity plates of the past lords were. Inside the glass was a total of 43 jade plates, including the founder of the cult's plate. I think someone stole something. There was an empty site. The site was where the jade plate of the 24th Lord, who succeeded the 23rd Lord Chen Yuzhong, was supposed to be. Are we supposed to report that to the police? Egu. My son. Jim Oyan hugged back Zhang So and said. It isn't that someone stole the plate of the 24th Lord. Then? The 24th Lord has turned into the Demon God and he's protecting the Sky Demon Order. Which is why we don't have the plate. Wow. Son, be quiet. Hee <laughs> hee. Actually, she was kind of lying, GM Oyun also didn't know the exact reason. If one looked at the cult's historical records, which had been handed down from generation to generation, it looked like the 24th Lord had suddenly disappeared. He was the last lord of the Chun family, who held the title of Chun Ma, Heavenly Demon. The people of the cult had many doubts about the disappearance of the man who was the second Chun Ma, and who saved the cult. It was said that the Six Swords believed that the 24th Lord would return, even on their deathbeds. If the jade was simply lost, then a new one would have been made. She, too, couldn't understand just what had happened. And most cult members thought that the missing jade was a part of the Sky Demon Order's history, a legend. Thak. 24th Lord of the Sky Demon Order, Chun Yuan. An engraved jade played with words, and the seal of the first Chun Ma fell on the floor. Jim Oyun's eyes wavered when she saw it. Baek jong so was the same. The 24th Lord has turned into the Demon God, and he's protecting the Sky Demon Order. He recalled his mother's words. The jade plate that was missing from the shrine of the cult, which wasn't open to anyone, was now in front of them. And the seal of the first Chun Ma proved that it was not a fake. Just how did, ah. Jim Oyun, who was looking at that, suddenly remembered something. The 24th Lord and the last holder of the Sky Demon Sword disappeared. Since he had the Sky Demon Sword, it could be explained. If the eldest son, Chen Yusong, found the missing Sky Demon Sword, then there was a high chance that he found the 24th Lord's Jade Plate along with his body. If one thought about it rationally, how could a person from a thousand years ago still be alive? But she still couldn't understand why the man was angry. That was when Chen Youwen opened his mouth. Since when did the cult turn into a mess? Give me the details. Yes? She couldn't understand the question. It didn't make sense that Chen Yusong, the eldest son of the chairman, didn't know why the company was dissolved when part of the reason was him. Unlike her, who was puzzled by the situation, Baek jong so had different thoughts. Isis that really possible? Just one question. Just a single affirmation was needed. Unlike Jim Oyun, who was denying the possibility that he is the 24th Lord, Baek jong so was thinking of explanations. Everybody knows that it's impossible for humans to live for a thousand years. But there's an exception for every rule. Since the gates opened, high-level people with special abilities and warriors have been able to live for over a hundred years. And when I saw him for the first time, Chen Yuan didn't seem like a man of the current age. He had long hair and he was wearing a historical costume, it was a standard look of the old cult. But besides thinking that it was weird, he didn't think too much of it Baek jong so raised his head and looked at Chen Yuan. And that energy? No, it wasn't internal energy. It was just Chen Yuan staring down in anger. It was an aura that could be felt from those who were beyond the mortal plane. Baek jong so lowered his head without realizing it. He couldn't even make eye contact with Chen Yuan. Baek jong so who was confused, quietly sent a message to his mother, 
Jiam O Yun. Mother. I know it doesn't make sense but, it seems to be right. She was unable to respond because her dantian was broken, so she whispered. What the hell are you saying? It seems like he's the 24th Lord. What? I, I can't believe it either. He was saying that it was true. He was so excited that he could feel his heart pounding. Thud. With his head on the floor, Beck Jongso asked. Are you really the 24th Lord? The man in front of him was someone who hasn't lied yet. Jim Oyen, who was bowing, also glanced up at Chen Youwen with suspicious eyes. Chen Youwen said to them. You might be the descendants of Becky, seeing how many doubts you have. The two of them were shocked by the way he uttered leader Becky's name, the 14th head of their clan, as if he was a subordinate. The way he said it was so natural that they were slightly more convinced that he was the 24th Lord. At that time, Jim Oyun frowned and asked one more thing. I, I know that this could be rude, but is it okay if I ask just one more thing? Chen Yowen didn't answer her. And she continued. Leader Becky, the 14th head of our family, said that he received a favor from the 24th Lord when you first met. Did you know that? It was someone only Jim Oyun knew, as she was the wife of the last pure Kit clan head. And it wasn't something the other clans would know either. Is mother trying to confirm it? Since Beck Jongso has been on the run for most of his life, he didn't know many details about his clan. Gulp. Jim Oyun looked at Chen Youwen with tensed eyes, fearing that he might be offended. But unexpectedly, Chen Youwen's reaction was, a smile. It isn't like him to leave a record of something like that. The Becky he knew was the kind of person who didn't like other people knowing his personal stuff. However, it seemed like Becky had left a record of the favor that Chen Youwen had shown him early in the academy. Actually, in the past, he didn't expect Becky to take his side after that. Are you talking about the time when I detoxified the poison in his body during our stay at the academy? Gasp. Jim Oyun covered her mouth with her palm. And her eyes were wide open. What Chen Youwen said was almost identical to what Becky had written. Becky himself had written it. How, how can this be? She was so startled that she was at a loss for words. Her whole body kept shaking and she wasn't able to say anything. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. She began to have a hard time breathing. When she was saved from outside the wall, she thought that she wouldn't witness another miracle in her life. But that was no miracle. A real miracle was happening right before her eyes. Demon God. Demon God. Demon God. It is him. She looked at Chen Youwen while her body shook, and then she banged her head on the floor. Thud. 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 Emma Mother. Beck Jongso was shocked. Blood was dripping down from her forehead as she hit her head too hard. Then with her arms raised up and red eyes, she cried out. All hail the Great Sky Demon Order. Long live the Order. A member of the insignificant Pure Kit clan sees the legendary second generation Chun Ma, the Demon God. Please forgive me for my rudeness. Jim Oyun had admitted it. Beck Jongso, who heard that, looked at Chen Youwen with trembling eyes. In front of him was the master of the jade plate, which was missing from the shrine he saw when he was a kid. And at that, a thousand years later. Ah. Beck Jongso immediately put his head down and shouted. Thud. The leader of the pure kick clan, Beck Jongso. Greets the second generation Chun Ma and the demon god of the great sky demon order. The legend of the Sky Demon Order wasn't a lie. The true lord and master of the Sky Demon Order had appeared. The issue didn't die down easily. When they saw the one called the legendary person of their clan, their emotions intensified. Chen Youwen had to stop it. Control yourselves. Huh? Whoa. He waved his hand, and the jade plate, which was on the ground, moved up. 
Beck Jong So's eyes lit up. Chen Yeowen, who had been angry until a moment back, looked at Jim Ouyan. Jim Ouyan cautiously said, Chen Ma, please ask, how did I die in the records? Huh? The title these people were calling him by was different from what his descendant Chen Musong called him. It was definitely a different time axis. However, the title he had here was Demon God. It was the title he earned in his own time, which was changed thanks to his descendant. Ho Hao means, answer what I asked. How can I say, answer me? At the stern command, she spoke in a trembling voice. I I apologize, but we don't know what happened clearly. It was recorded that Chen Ma disappeared in the western part of Liaoning while he was returning to the cult from Chengbai Mountains. Chen Yeowen's expression hardened. He vaguely guessed it. But only after hearing those words from GM Ouyan, he was sure. This is the world I disappeared from? Chapter 35 Legend Part 3 Chen Yeowen's eyes turned heavy. It's only been two days since he jumped into this time and space, but when he found out that this was the world he disappeared from, his thoughts became complicated. After I disappear, this is how the future unfolds. He would have felt a lot better if he fell into a world he had no connection with. However, when he heard that this world was the one he belonged to, even if he was the demon god, he lost his composure. Ah. Chen Yeowen was curious about people other than Becky. Do you know what happened to the cult after I disappeared? Jim Ouyan couldn't hide her fluster at that question. The Sky Demon Order had a vast history of over 1800 years. No matter how high-ranking the members of the cult were, it was impossible to have a detailed explanation on what happened to all of them, they didn't even know what exactly happened to more recent members. I, I am sorry. It's believed that it's recorded in the cult's records, but after the cult was dissolved. She didn't say anything else, but Chen Yeowen could guess. Her silence meant that the location of the records was unknown. Chen Yeowen frowned at that. Then, do you know about the one called Mun Ku? Chen Yeowen was most concerned about the well-being of his lover, Mun Ku. Mun Ku. Mun Ku, ah. Jim Ouyan pondered the name, and then it seemed like she remembered something. Wasn't she your wife? Wife. Chen Yeowen smiled very subtly at the word wife. Although they weren't married, Mun Ku, who had his child, was nothing less than a wife. But then he heard something else. The mother of the 25th Lord of the Cult, Chen Un Ku. According to Jim Ouyan, his wife named their child a combination of their names. It was like using a character from both his and her names. Chen Yeowen's eyes softened at it. To be named after the two of us. As soon as he heard it, he knew Mun Ku's emotions. And missed her even more. In order to go back to her, he needed a time pack or time jet, which can move through time, but such devices were impossible to find in this era. I'm in trouble. Maybe he had to wait until they were made. It wasn't an impossible task for Chen Yeowen who absorbed the cores of the five spirits beasts and gained eternal life, but that would take too long. I need to figure something out. Jim Ouyan, who looked at him, asked with a curious face. How come you didn't ask about the second lady? Second lady? According to Jim Ouyan, only the married ones were called ladies. However, there was no way he would marry anyone other than Mun Ku. Second Lady Wang Yogan? Ha! Huh. Chen Yeowen put his hand on his forehead, as if it was absurd. When Chen Yeowen was in Murim, he only had connections with two women. One of them was Wang Yogan. She was the daughter of Wang Jing, the martial dual sword, one of the five strongest warriors in Chen Yeowen's era. Unlike Mun Ku, who he knew well, his relationship with Yogan was because of an unfortunate incident. So that's how it ended up? Sigh. He could guess what happened. People treated Yogan like Chen Yeowen's lover. And maybe they thought both women were important to him. 
Haha. <laughs> Munku allowed it. He knew the other woman far less than Munku. Nevertheless, in the end, Wang Yogan turned into the second wife. Chen Yowen, who made two women turn into widows, shook his head. Wang Yogan. That was just another reason to go back. In any case, Jim Oyan told Chen Yowen the names of the Sky Demon Order's successive lords and what she knew about them. But that didn't matter to him. What mattered was why the cult became like this. Why did the cult collapse? At Chen Yowen's disappointed tone, Jim Oyan bowed her head. It was because she was ashamed to explain that to the second generation Chen Ma, who led the most glorious period of the Sky Demon Order's history. We apologize, Chun Ma. Enough. Tell me. I don't know the full story since I wasn't there, but I heard it from my husband, the former head of the Pure Kick clan. Although she was a member of the cult, she wasn't in a position where she could access all the information. Since she didn't have a major rank, she probably wasn't even allowed to attend the meetings, and as she mentioned, she learned everything from her husband. Perhaps this was what triggered the cult's collapse. It was 28 years ago. When the first dimension gate opened. Before that, Muram wasn't a world which existed in the light. Muram was just something which was seen in movies and dramas. At that time, the only people who knew of the real Muram were the famous Muram warriors who held high positions in the business world. It was the same as it was in the past. Only officials, the imperial family, and merchants recognized the existence of Muram. But, the Muram warriors who operated in the shadows had to appear because of the dimension gates that opened all over the world. The gates suddenly opened. And many disasters sprang out from them. As of that day, Muram and the special humans who were hidden away from the world rose to the top and many things in the world changed. When I was young, there were no federation governments such as the Asian Federation or the European Federation. However, the world changed as cities were destroyed by gates. The world, which judged that no single country could win against them, began to unite and changed into federation governments. There were a lot of problems in the process. Not all nations wanted to join. The People's Republic of China was one of them. At the center of the strong opposition to the federation system was President Wei Jingyong. At that time it occurred. A massacre happened in the city of Huayanpai, which was adjacent to Russia, during a meeting with the Prime Minister of Russia who, like the People's Republic of China, opposed the system. Massacre? Yes. It was such a huge event that it was talked about in the world news for weeks. There, the President of China and other key figures, even the Prime Minister of Russia and their Foreign Minister were all assassinated. Without that incident, it would have been difficult for the Asian Federation to be established. Hmm. Even Chen Youwen was a little shocked. The worst happened only after the gates opened. However, the problems continued. Something, something went wrong. I still don't believe what happened. Jim Oyan said through clenched teeth. Our chairman Chen Wu Jin was accused of doing the massacre. What? Chen Yowen's eyes narrowed. He couldn't understand why the man was suddenly involved in the genocide of two countries' leaders. It was so weird. At that time, the chairman went on a business trip to the same place for business reasons. They accused him because of that? The prosecution showed a CCTV video record of the chairman entering and exiting the summit meetings. That caught him on a CCTV camera? That was even more absurd. Most CCTV cameras in the building where the massacre took place were damaged. However, that one CCTV camera was fine. That was the only evidence? At Chen Yowen's question GM Oyan grunted. Grunt. Not long after, our chairman was summoned and went to support the investigation, and then witnesses appeared and evidence was given. Evidence? The evidence was the autopsy of the bodies. Unexpectedly, the bodies had scars from the Sky Demon Order swordsmanship, 
a technique that only the head of the Sky Demon Order could learn. What? Chen Yuan was flustered. The sword force of the Sky Demon? It was a technique that was left for the lords of the cult. The sword technique could never be used correctly unless the entire technique was mastered. The sword force of the Sky Demon was a technique Chen Yuan used. And before Chen Yuan landed in this world, he taught the full technique to his grandfather, Chen Inji. Who gave the autopsy result? Jim Oyan continued the story with her voice full of resentment. The result, it was said that it was the common opinion shared by Murum warriors, who were dispatched by each clan to check the sword marks. The Black Sky Company, no, the Sky Demon Order, was being oppressed. Even in modern times, conflicts arose in Murum. In such a situation, the opposing clans were brought into check and they gave the result they wanted. Forces of Justice Association, Blade 6. They all waited and then called the chairman, the culprit. The Sky Demon Order had enemies everywhere. Crack. The Sky Demon Sword, which Chen Yuan was holding like a staff, dug deeper into the ground. His eyes were cold with anger. Chen Chen Ma. Continue, keep going. Jim Oyan, who was bewildered by the heavy voice of Chen Yuan, continued. In the end, the prosecution asked the court to sentence Chen Wu Jing to death. Since leaders of two nations were killed, the Black Sky Company couldn't do anything. Moreover, as that happened when Muram was appearing from the shadows, it drew even more attention. We appealed to save the chairman. Jim Oyan's eyes were red. Just thinking back on all she had been through, she could feel the anger rise again. But nothing worked. They made an appeal with the best lawyers in the company, but nothing could be done because of the evidence which pointed to the chairman. Even the lawyers said that avoiding sentencing was difficult. The only thing the lawyers could do was avoid the death penalty. The defense counsel requested negotiations with the prosecution. They informed them of what the side effects would be if the chairman was executed. In the end, the prosecution took a step back and pushed for life imprisonment, instead of the death penalty. The reason was simple. As the gates opened, people like Muram warriors were needed. In such a situation, if the chairman of the Black Sky Company, one of the four major clans, was executed, then they wouldn't help. After changing the punishment, the state decided to utilize the power of the Black Sky Company. But there was something that us and the government overlooked. It was the movement of the Muram clans. Each clan was in conflict with the Sky Demon Order and they didn't miss the opportunity to corner the cult. But they weren't the only ones. At that time, the Black Sky Company was looked at as a company which killed the leaders of two nations, and people boycotted it, their stock price plummeted, and the company deteriorated in a year. Amidst all that, she couldn't hold back her emotions. She hesitated until Chen Yuan spoke in a cold voice. Tell me. She continued while feeling sad. There was a struggle for the succession of company management. The absence of the chairman, the largest shareholder, and the lord of the cult lead to greater deterioration. No matter what happened, in such a situation where public opinion changed, someone had to fix it. And the solution was, become the next chairman. Because of that the internal situation was even worse. Normally one of the chairman's two sons would have to succeed. However, because of the chairman's absence there was no decision maker and the dispute arose. Then the worst happened. Chen Wu Kyung, the younger brother of the chairman, objected to the succession. He pointed out that the two sons were incompetent and argued that the company would go bankrupt or dissolve if one of them took power. That objection gained the support of many members, and then the company divided into three groups. Even if they tried to overcome their bad reputation, because of the internal war, nothing would happen. In the end, only disputes continued, nothing was resolved, and it reached a point where the situation couldn't be fixed. The Black Sky Company was officially dissolved. All of that was what led to the Sky Demon Order's current state. 
Jiam Ouyan was in tears. She couldn't even lift her head to look at Chen Youan. So this was what happened. Baek Jongsa was shocked. He heard about what happened to the Sky Demon Order for the first time and felt ashamed. Although it wasn't the only reason, it couldn't be denied that the family's fight was what led to its current state. It's natural to be angry. And ashamed too. Jim Ouyan noticed that Chen Youan wasn't saying anything. It wasn't her fault, but as a member of the cult, she couldn't face Chen Ma. She tried to look. Do 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 do. Ugh. The abandoned factory began to tremble. Beck Jong So jumped at the sudden movement. JKKK. Cracks appeared in the walls of the building, it looked like the building would collapse at any moment. Beck Jong So was bewildered and tried to tell Chen Yuan that they had to leave. But. Ah? He discovered the cause of the shaking. The Sky Demon sword in the ground was shaking. CH Chen Ma. GM Ouyan looked at him with bewildered eyes. A terrifying force was escaping from his body. Chen Yuan was unable to contain his emotions. To hear this. It was so absurd that he was pissed. He never dreamt that those who inherited his blood would disappoint him so much. Shaking. Chen Yuan looked at the two people in front of him. They were not sure about what had to be done. The mother and son were a part of the pure Kit clan, which was loyal to the Sky Demon Order. They kept hiding and wandering around as fugitives. My descendants made the Sky Demon Order like this? Crack. Rumble. As his anger increased, part of the building began to collapse. Chun Ma. Please calm your anger. Beck Jong So shouted as he covered his mother to make sure she wasn't hurt. He was sure that the building would collapse. Tack. Chen Yuan removed his hand from the sword. Shu. The shaking and the cracking, everything stopped. The two of them looked at Chen Yuan with eyes full of fear. And he, who was silent, opened his mouth. Descendants of the Pure Kit clan. You must have been through a lot. Unexpected comforting words came out of his mouth. They thought they would be punished, but when warm words came out, tears welled. In GM Ouyan's eyes. Thud. CH Chen Ma. How can you say that? What a shame we are as descendants. Superscript one she yelled as she put her head on the floor. Chen Yuan looked at them and shook his head. You did nothing wrong. With that, he pretended to pull something up with his hand. The Sky Demon Sword, which was in the floor, was pulled out. Clench! There are others who have sinned. Chen Yuan's eyes were as sharp as the sword in his hand. The mother and son looked at him with puzzled expressions. Calming his emotions, he made a decision. The decision was. I'll make it right. At those words, both GM Ouyan and Baek Jong So trembled. It was because Chen Youan, the second generation Chen Ma, said he would rectify the Sky Demon Order. Ah. Uh, if someone else said that, they wouldn't have cared. But hearing it from Chen Youan was enough to shake them to their cores. With a trembling voice, Baek Jong So asked. Are you really going to bring the Black Sky Company back to life? Does it sound like I'm saying baseless words? Oh no. After hearing that, do you think I would leave it alone? I will bring back the original Sky Demon Order. Oh oh, my lord. GM Ouyan looked at Chen Youan, whose eyes were filled with a strong will. And Chen Youan added. Even if it can't be fixed, I can always wipe everything away.